So let's solve the fourth question. Now given that a plus b is equal to the square root of 3 root 3 minus root 2 and a minus b is equal to the square root of 3 root 2 minus root 3. We are going to find a, a times b and then b, a square plus b square. Okay, so let's start off with a. So from the question, we say that a plus b is equal to the square root of 3 root 3 minus root 2. Now let's call this equation 1. And then we have a minus b equals the square root of 3 root 2 minus root 3. Let's call this equation 2. So from equation 1, a plus b is equal to the square root of 3 root 3 minus root 2. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to square both sides, okay, to do away with the square root. So when we do that, we have uh, this becomes a times a, which is a squared. We have a times b which is AB, and then we have B times A, which is also AB. So we have 2AB plus B times itself, which is B square. And then on the right-hand side, the square cancels the square root. So we are left with 3 root 3 minus root 2. So let's call this equation 3. Now for equation 2, also we have A minus B equals the square root of 3 root 2 minus root 3 okay for that also we are going to do same we are going to square both sides of the equation and then here we have a times a which is a square we have a times negative b it is negative a b and then we have twice of it so that's going to be minus 2 a b and then negative b times negative b is plus b square this is equal to 3 root 2 minus root 3 let's call this equation 4 now comparing equation 3 and then equation 4 we have a square we have b square so we can subtract equation 4 from equation 3 so that we get rid of a square and then b square so we say that equation 3 minus equation 4. So we are going to use the method of elimination. So that is from equation 3 we have a square plus 2ab plus b square equals 3 root 3 minus root 2. Okay. Minus equation 4 that is a square minus 2ab plus b square equals 3 root 2 minus root 3 so a square minus a square is 0 2ab minus negative 2ab that is 2ab plus 2ab so we have 4ab b square minus b square is 0 so we have 4ab equals now we have 3 root 3 minus root 2 and then for this we have the negative affecting 3 root 2 and then negative root 3 so it becomes negative 3 root 2 plus root 3 okay so we have 4ab equals now let's group like things okay or let's add like things we have 3 root 3 plus root 3 so that is 4 root 3 and then we have negative root 2 minus 3 root 2 so that is also negative 4 root 2 now 4 is common to all of the things so we can cancel out 4 
so we are left with a b equals the square root of 3 minus the square root of 2 so this is a a b equals square root of 3 minus square root of 2 okay so now let's solve for b a square plus b square so from equation 3 we have a square plus 2ab plus b square equals 3 root 3 minus root 2 so that is a square plus 2ab plus b square equals 3 root 2 sorry 3 root 3 minus root 2 so let's transpose 2ab to the right hand side so we have a square plus b square equals 3 root 3 minus root 2 minus 2ab so this is the expression for a square plus b square which is what we are looking for now since we know the value for ab we are going to substitute ab into this equation to find a square plus b square so a square plus b square is equal to 3 root 3 minus root 2 minus 2 times root 3 minus root 2 so now let's multiply across so this becomes 3 root 3 minus root 2 now negative 2 times root 3 is negative 2 root 3 and then this becomes plus 2 root 2 so 3 root 3 minus 2 root 3 is root 3 negative root 2 plus 2 root 2 is plus root 2 so we have a square plus b square to be root 3 plus root 2 so that's it for this question let's move on to the next question so for question number five a body of mass 500 grams lying on a smooth horizontal floor is acted upon by the forces f1 10 newtons 90 degrees f2 16 newtons 180 degrees f3 8 newtons 30 degrees and then f4 12 newtons 300 degrees now we are going to express all the forces along or acting on the body as column vectors and then b we are going to find correct to two decimal places the magnitude of i the resultant force and then secondly the acceleration with which the body starts to move okay so let's move on and solve for a we are going to express all the forces acting on the body as column vectors so we have f1 F1 is 10 newtons and 90 degrees. So basically, we are going to express these forces in the x and y components, that is, the horizontal and then the vertical components, in the column vector form or as column vectors. So basically, we say that 10 cos 90 degrees or 10 cosine 90 degrees and then 10 sine 90 degrees okay so we have f1 equals now 10 cos 90 is 0 and then 10 sine 90 is 10 so this is f1 so for f2 we are going to do same f2 is 16 newtons 180 degrees so this is also 16 cos 180 and then 16 sine 180. So 16 cos 180 is negative 16 and then 16 sine 180 is 0. So this is also F2. Now we have F3. 
F3 is 8 newtons 30 degrees. So this is 8 cos 30 and then 8 sine 30. 8 cos 30 is 4 root 3. And then 8 sine 30 is 4. So this is F3. And lastly for F4, F4 is 12 newtons 300 degrees. So it also becomes 12 cos 300 degrees and then 12 sine 300 degrees. 12 cos 300 is 6. 12 sine 300 is negative 6 root 3. So this is F4. So we've been able to express all the forces acting on the body as column vectors. Now let's move on to B. We are going to find correct to two decimal places the magnitude of the resultant force. So to find the resultant force, we are going to add up all the forces F1 through to F4. So let the resultant force be F. Then F is equal to F1 plus F2 plus F3 plus F4. So F is equal to, we have F1, this is F1, F1 is 0, 10, plus F2 is negative 16, 0, F3, 4 root 3, 4, and then F4 is 6, negative 6 root 3. So we are going to add up all the horizontal and the vertical components of the forces. So F is equal to, and we have 0 minus 16 plus 4 root 3 plus 6. And then we also have 10 plus 0 plus 4 minus 6 root 3. So 0 minus 16 plus 4 root 3 plus 16 is a negative 10 plus 4 root 3 and then 10 plus 0 plus 4 minus 6 root 3 is also 14 minus 6 root 3. So F becomes negative 3.07 and then 3.61. Now, this is in the column vector form. We have the x component and the y component. Now, we were asked to find the magnitude of the resultant force. Okay, so the magnitude of f is equal to the square root of the x component square plus the y component square. So, we have the x component to be negative 3.07. So, we have the square of it plus the y component is 3.61 also squared so this becomes 4.7389 and then it is approximately equal to 4.74 newtons so this is the magnitude of the resultant force f now let's solve for ii II is the acceleration with which the body starts to move. Now we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration. From the question, we're given the mass of the body to be 500 grams, which is equal to 0 0.5 kilograms. We also know that to find the value of A, which is the acceleration, A is equal to the force divided by the mass. Now we have the force to be 4.74, but in the calculation we are going to use 4.7389. 
divided by m which is 0 0.5 kg so 0 0.5 so 4.7389 divided by 0 0.5 is equal to 9.4778 and we are supposed to leave our answer in two decimal places so the acceleration a is equal to 9.48 meter per second square 